Hope you guys liked the last vlog. So today, I have a bittersweet moment. Um, this is Cobain, my oldest. Kennedy. That's Kennedy, my middle kid. Bittersweet, you know, Two. sometimes we don't sit back and enjoy the fruits of the labor. You know, I've, the past three years have kind of honestly flown. Blink of an eye, I can't tell you what I did. I mean, I could a little bit, but not like in detail. So we're so focused about tomorrow that we forget to live today. So like a month ago, right? I was focused on, I, I wanna get a month later, focus on that. Now I'm here, enjoy the moment, right? So lately I've been really focusing on just enjoying every day. I woke up Monday, Mondays are always stressed out. Great day, meetings with my attorneys on some big, big moves we got going on that I don't wanna talk about. I'll just show you guys when I make it happen, kinda of like I did with this. Um, I feel like when I talk too much to people about what I'm doing, too many opinions and too, told I don't care for opinions. Um, but, bittersweet, we're gonna go say goodbye to the old building and talk about some highlights and some cool shit we did there, so, let's roll. You know, it was, how it, that I even moved into that building story is I came to Temecula to a Cars and Coffee in my Huracan in my first shop in Paris. And I ran into Eric, I kind of already knew Hunter. And he's like, hey man, I got this idea, you know, I got an exotic dealership, kind of want to have like a detail spot, all these little spots in the same complex, kind of have like a, a one-stop shop. I was like, man, that's cool, you know, and I kind of told him what my, what my plans were, you know, I didn't have, um, I wasn't big and operating like I am now, I was small, I got my first Lambo, I was, not that I'm somebody now, but I was really just a nobody then. And I told him my vision, man, and the guy was like, sounds great, man, he brought me in and uh, saw a lot of, a lot of potential in my brand and me and you know regardless of you know he's expanded too i mean he started one of the one of the size buildings that i'm in and moved up to you know 20, 10 000 square foot facility and now he's got a 70 000 square foot facility down down the street west coast exotics dropping the ball so we've all progressed right and and, and that's the nature of the beast the, the objective is for everybody to progress we all have to grow right and we grow together and we help each other out granted i'm doing some things you know with the car stuff but eric's relationship in mine and Hunter's is phenomenal. We do a lot of business. I mean, just last week, we, I bought three cars off of them, two for customers, and we got this for uh, the company. Um, we'll talk about this car in a whole other vlog, but we're gonna be developing some some years packages. Um, so yeah, you know, he, he had a view, I had a view, and we've just been chasing it, you know? Um, every day is, is just a, a, a battle of chasing our goals and our dreams, you know? So moved into that building and it was a little out of my reach, man. I was like, man, you know, I'm like to swing this, you know? But you kind of just figure it out once you get in it, man, you know? And, uh, you know, I lived in, in Paris. My whole family's in Paris. And, you know, my all my employees and I moved them all out here and um, got the building. And at the time, all we did was build Honda and Evo stuff. We didn't work on cars, so I was like, well, if we get a couple lifts, work on a couple cars, we can keep the income coming in what we do, and then the extra expenses will make up by working on cars. That was, it's kind of my objective. Bring in a new form of in income to cover the differences in expenses, right? So, it's kind of how I think. And we added, we did, I think, three lifts, and then went to four, then to five. And uh, yeah, I just quickly outgrew it. It's crazy, I didn't realize how much shit I had until we moved, but check it out. Well, a lot of good memories, man. A lot of jokes in that room. Huh, Johnny? Oh yeah. A lot of jokes. <laughs> a little shipping area, wow, that echoes. Uh, this wasn't here when I first moved in. So we built this storage upstairs, and then the downstairs room was essentially um, empty. Uh, remember it was always back, back? Uh, the room for all the equipment that we use to cut metals. Holy moly. So when we first moved in, it was me, Charlie, and Louie. This was Charlie's living area. Yeah, the Charlie came. Uh, remember Charlie? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then slowly grew the staff, you know. I, I thought at one point this was a big building. I remember when I first got it, I was so excited. I'm sure we could find a picture we could drop right here. We'll drop a picture right here. But the first moved in. Be careful. Um, a lot of a lot of lessons learned here. Um, you know, everybody only talks about the good that they did. Good choices. I feel like it's like the common thing on social media is to flex all your cool, shit, right? Let me flex you some bad stuff, right? Let's flex some bad stuff because the bad stuff is what makes the good. A lot of choices that put me down roads um, that I don't wish upon anybody. Um, 
personal life to relationships with past employees. Um, yeah, labor laws <laughs> in California. That one, that one was a big one. I lost a lot of money there for just not being simply set up properly as a business, right? Never did I think that my little garage hustle that I had in 2011 and 12 would turn into a multi seven figure business. And uh, as you grow, unfortunately, the scaling of protecting yourself must grow as well. So I learned a lot as far as insurances and labor laws and um, employment stuff and just properly protecting your entity. So for all you small business owners out there, always make sure you're just in line because uh, unfortunately we must live by Murphy's Law. What can't go wrong will go wrong. You can't protect, you can't always build things off the perfect world scenario. So, uh, you know, and on top of all the negative, all the good that happened here, man. I mean, phenomenal memories here, man. Great, great memories. But I just wanted to kind of enjoy this moment with you guys really quick and uh, say thank you to everybody. I mean, when we first moved in here, we are doing Honda and Evo stuff, tamp tampering with exotics, which we still sell a lot of Honda and Evo stuff. So for all you guys, just go on the website still. If you guys got Hondas and Evos, and so, you know, we, we still got product. I know we don't market it as much as because we have so many things going on, but everyone that's been with us since day one, you know, we nothing but love for you guys, all our supporters now. And just expect a lot of content now with the new building. A couple videos a week, the brand's gonna be big. We have a lot of events. You know, here we weren't able to have events. I mean, it was so small. So now with the new location, public events, public being, you know, active more with you guys, right? Um, Say goodbye to the old building, Kobe. Bye. Bye, Bye. come on, this is, when we first came here, you were like two years old. You were a baby. This thing's too quiet. Got, got those parts on this. You know what? I told you guys I was gonna talk about this car in a different video. Nah, let's do it on this video. What do you think, Dad? Johnny? Yeah, bro. Okay, let's do it. All right. So as you guys know, we are a premier Lamborghini Audi specialist facility. So this happens to be a Volkswagen. Eris. So I figured a lot of our clients own Eurises, right? I was like, why don't we do a dope package for the Eurus? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a 800 and then a thousand horsepower package. For all my followers, you guys got a badass Aventador. I got badass Aventador exhaust on the shelf. I got 720s on the shelf. I got Audi, uh, I mean, Huracans, a couple of them. This is, uh, you know, since everybody, not everybody wants twin turbo applications, it's like, yo, we, we'll build you badass titanium exhaust, and, and that way you can still be a part of the Shiki family, right? Um, so this is the Yuri stuff uh, that we're gonna be putting on the car. Um, this is the center section for the muffler. Pretty dope, titanium. So what we're gonna do is our state, our SR800 package will be exhaust system, um, off-road calibration, an intake system, and uh, and yeah, that, and it'll make hopefully about 800. And then above that will, will be all that, then add a, a turbo upgrade, a hybrid turbo. So I'm gonna start playing with that this week. I'm waiting for some parts to come in. So uh, for all you Urus owners, you guys want some little, you know, a little bit more bump to, 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 to the Urus, I'll, you know, I'll be able to have something for you. Um, this is our merch, some of our merch. We're gonna keep adding racks for our inventory for the giveaway coming out. So be ready for that giveaway. I think it goes live on the night, right Johnny? So be ready on the night. It's time, you can win a, Stage one, R8. Um, on top of that, that's a wrap. Anyway, so we went, we spoke about, you know, my my last building, bittersweet, but a lot of a lot of things I'm gonna leave there. A lot of a lot of juju I don't want no more, right? But this place is full of positivity, um, opportunity, phenomenal, the best team. I, I'm gonna I always preach about this. I have the baddest team slash staff in the industry. And I will go, I'll put any of those guys, especially that little one. Hey, little guy! Yeah, little one over there, see that one? That dude will go toe to toe with any fabricator in the country. Um, he's confused though, look at his hair. Oh, what you, me and my people here are wondering what you do to your hair. What do you mean? I'm just getting old, it's going gray. It goes blonde first, then white. Oh, is that what happens? Yeah. He's next. The hell? Look at all them grays. Yeah. Uh, oh. Jeez. Yeah. Oh man. It's called stress. Stress. And a lot of hard work. That's right. You know, it's funny, I'm actually older. For reals? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's a wrap for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Next one, I think we're gonna do, I don't know what we're gonna do next. We just keep dropping them, fuck it. Why am I even telling you what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna keep vlogging, dropping videos of me, everything we do here, my wild ass kids. As you can tell, they're a little crazy. Now you put all three of them together, all bad. All they do is want to push them. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys have a good day.